Hey guys, what's up? In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the 72 bin connector in your Nintendo. So, yeah, here's how you do it. The first thing you're going to want to do is turn it upside down and remove the six screws. Once you've done that, remove all the screws from the Nintendo. I recommend putting them in a cup. Now don't worry, almost every single screw in the Nintendo is the exact same, so don't worry about mixing them up. Now turn the system over and take this part off. What you're going to want to do now is just take out the screws of this uh, Take the metal plate off of your Nintendo. Now what you're going to have is all the insides right here. And here's the main part you're going to be dealing with, which is this thing. This is where you put your cartridge in. And so you're just going to take the screws out of this. The only two different screws are these screws right here. Right here, the silver screws that are one in. So yeah, just gonna go ahead and take those out. Once you have all those screws out, uh, just carefully take this off, set it aside. Now what you're dealing with is the 72 pin connector right here. What you're going to want to do is grab your new 72 pin connector. I, per uh, I personally purchased mine from Amazon for about $8. Make sure you buy a new one. and. Uh, and just carefully remove your old one. Alright, so make sure to not get your old 72 pin connector confused with your new one. So just set this one aside and get out your new 72 pin connector. Um, I ended up taking this screw out right here actually too. Uh, just to kind of get the motherboard up a little bit, just enough so it'd be easier to get the, the old connector off. So very carefully. Insert your new 72 pin connector. Once you get your 72 pin connector on, just line everything back up how it was. You know, the plate under it and whatnot. If you had to uh, move that at all, like I did. Once you've slipped your cartridge holder back on, go ahead and put the screws back in as they were. Once you put all these screws in this, just go ahead and screw this in. Once 
you've done that, put the original six screws back in the shell of your NES. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.